Hello everyone and welcome back to another mini tutorial session here on Ghost Paper. For today's video we're going to take a look at the powerful tool that the recolor option actually is here on Procreate. And if you watched any of my videos, especially the speed painting videos, you know that I use a lot of the reference layer, a lot of the technique of using reference layer and color dragging. So once again what I mean by that, just giving you a quick example, is having your outline work all in one layer and then setting up that layer as a reference layer as we see written right here at the bottom of the layer and checked out as this option. And once you have this option checked, what it means is that you can color drag to any section of that outline artwork and it gets filled with color. So it's a really quick way to add color into multiple layers. So what I mean by that is that you can have this layer here which is now layer 20, but if I make a new layer and turn off this layer and change color, I can now, let's just say, color the hair of this character and a little bit of the shoes. And now if I turn back layer 20, I have the two layers in uh, the two colors into multiple layers. So I also get masks. And this is something that I've covered in a previous video, which I'll link it here at the top right section of the screen. But let's just go through what the recolor option is and how powerful it can be for us when we're making our illustrations. So basically, as you've seen, there's a, the motion of color dragging and uh, dropping colors onto the canvas requires a lot of the back and forth of uh, just kind of dragging colors onto the canvas. And now here on Procreate 5 Beta, you would think that this technique would get a little bit better because color dragging once again uh, from a distance, you could actually have the floating color picker and try to uh, actually do color dragging from here. But unfortunately, you still can't uh, color drag from a color palette, especially on a floating color picker. So this situation doesn't actually improve on Procreate 5, so we still have to uh, go here into the colors. I'm just gonna have to close the floating color picker and just pick another one and color drag. So anyways, back here on Procreate 4, how do we actually uh, work with the recolor? So I'm going to delete these layers and I'm gonna show you the best way. So we have a reference layer right here. So what we're going to do first, I'm just gonna choose a color here, going back into the layers panel. We're going to click on a reference layer and select. And now what we have is a mask that is only going inside the outlines because this layer here only contains outlines. But what we actually want is a mask for everything that's in the inside and outside areas of the outline. So we're going to click invert. And now we're going to go back into the layers panel, make a new layer, click on this layer and select the option fill layer. So as you can see, even though we fill this layer on top of the line work, we're still seeing the line work. So I'm going to actually set it underneath and by turning off line work, we can see that now we have created a hole in, in this layer here, in this fill layer. And that's exactly what we want in order to fill colors with a recolor tool. So let me turn back the line work reference and now let me show you how this tool actually works. We're going to keep uh, selected the layer that we created the fill. We're gonna go here into the filter section and the last option recolor. And once we activate the tool, we see this like little crosshair over here and you can position that to select the area in the canvas where you want to recolor with a new color. So let's start with the shirt and I'm just going to select a color here for this section. And as you can see, we've colored that shirt uh, already really quickly with just a tap. And we can continue by just tapping other areas. So let's say these three areas here are with this very vibrant red color. So now if we're done with this color, that's the only caveat of this tool, we have to actually exit the tool and then maybe go back again for a new color. So let's now go into recolor once again, and now I'm going to select maybe a darker tone here so it gets a little bit easier, and let's actually color the pants on this character. So now we just have to tap on the areas and we quickly put some color here on the pants and that is the power of the recolor tool. Basically what it's doing is that, I'm just gonna turn off reference layer. It's actually recoloring sections because once again, we created this mask with, with all of the boundaries, the necessary boundaries to be able to use the recolor tool with the different colors uh, because we have this perfect mask 
that came from the outlines. And you can also use the eyedropper tool and pick up colors from your colors palette and then make sure that you're still within the masks boundary layer. We're gonna go into filters, recolor, and now you can do the skin of this character very, very quickly by just clicking on the areas. So the only downside of this tool um, is actually that by using the recolor, you do need to have all of your fills into one layer. So if that's not really a problem for you, you can actually really use the recolor because it's really fast. It's faster than color dragging, but unfortunately you don't get the power of the reference layer with color dragging, which again allows you to just by having the reference layer and creating layers, you can drag and drop the color. And let's just do that to these first three areas here. By creating a new layer, I can just select another color and just drop that color onto the pants. And now I have separate layers for my colors. And this is also really, really helpful and powerful if you're doing a lot of shading work. But if you're still using the recolor uh, section here, our option, it doesn't really impede you to actually do some shadows, but you're just gonna have a little bit more work to actually, uh, you know, if you're masking, if you have everything in one layer and you're doing a selection or a clipping mask, I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna create a new layer here, make it into a clipping mask. I'm gonna select the darker color and maybe we'll go with the noise brush and finally, yes, set to clipping mask. So if I'm doing a little bit of shadows here, you see that the color of the background is also uh, a fill. So it's not letting me to actually uh, put shadows just on, this arm, uh, just on this arm right here. So then I would have to go back with the studio pen and uh, actually use the eraser and protect those areas once again. So it's really up to you um, where you actually want to save time. I just really wanted to show you guys the power of using Recolor to quickly tap to actually add colors around your canvas. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was really helpful for you to understand another option to actually fill colors here on Procreate. And by using the Recolor function, you can actually tap to add colors around your canvas. If you did find this video helpful, a like would be super appreciated as well as please subscribe to the channel for more news, tips and tricks, reviews, and that is all to make you a better digital illustrator. Now, if you haven't watched the video about reference layer, I'm going to be linking here on the right side of the screen at the top, and that's a video that I definitely recommend you to watch so that you can understand a little bit better what the reference layer actually does. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.